And so it's not the end of the world, but you can still have pairs with, with Tether. It's just, it's definitely a signal that your chain is not active. Like it's definitely right. Like, so yeah. to, to maybe to clarify that, so what will happen is pair from EOS to Tether will happen, but then a pairing with the USD on EOS or the USDT mm-hmm. on Algorand will not be available anymore. Like when you are on the exchange, you'll not be able to withdraw that. Uh, if you have a balance, I would assume because Terror is a very centralized company. So I would assume that they work with the exchange so that if you have that, you can always be able to convert it to a supported USDT. Yeah. I, don't, I don't doubt it. That is so, the process. You will have time that you can migrate it out. What they'll... I'm obviously... The the uh, smart contracts, however it's written, they could then take control of that token because that's what it is. They can take control of that token, burn that token, right? And now that ca- that fiat that they had or whatever that asset they had that was allocated, then they can now remint if they're being ethical about it. That's that's the auditing concerns, right? Then they can remint an equivalent asset on another chain, right? It's about that pairing of fiat with their token, right? right? So there is a time frame. So if you have some of that, make sure that you follow up, check with your blockchain of choice, Algorand, EOS, or Tether, and see what their process is for you to migrate out. It would probably be handled by the exchanges too. A lot of them automate that process. Just yeah, that's as what I think would happen. With yeah, I think that's kinds of things. Users will barely um, see anything. Even if they have a balance in that token, they might actually directly to- send them a notification that by that sure. date, they'll be converted to that other token. Because, you know, on exchange, they, you don't hold the funds. They, they do it. So mm-hmm. it's very easy to, for them to just convert them to another exactly. word wonder, and in hand with uh, the Tether Foundation or that's exactly. I hope Tether a, company. I hope, a, mm-hmm. hope there's not a window or hope maybe Tether does this because I hope like, you know, in three a lot of people will just have stuff in their wallets and forget about it. I, I hope, I hope I'm there's sure, a way. <laughs> I'm sure the validity for it, right? of those tokens is um, not at risk. Right. But they're not minting new ones. Right. So oh, I think I they'll still accept uh, for you to send them back to get there. USD or another Correct. Uh, USDT, yeah. but but they will not refuse it. I, I I've not seen that anywhere. Yeah. That there was a, a note that I have the the time frame on that. I think there was a date. Date 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 date. Uh, they will be okay. So the exact verbiage was. While no new USDT will be minted on these blockchains, existing tokens can still be redeemed for the next 12 months. There you go. There is a window. Yes, there is a window. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's why I stated it. Mm -hmm. Yep. So pay attention to your Algorand and EOS (laughs) Tether and swap it out. (laughs) Swap it out. But Nix is right. If it's not actually tied to the exchanges, have Tether because Tether, as far as I understand, has got an agreement with exchanges that offer tether where they loan that tether to the exchange and so they'll those exchanges will probably handle that but do your own research right you know that that acronym for it do your own research communicate with the exchange where you have your algorand or eos tether if it's in a self custody wallet self custody wallets will not automatically convert you'll want to get it somewhere to convert it yep